was just six young lads who were enjoying life. In our eyes, we were just playing a game of football with our mates. I was loving it. 21 years ago, Manchester United produced a youth team that was to become the envy of every club in the country and beyond. The film Class of 92 tells the story of how six footballers graduated from it to become household names and United legends. I think you don't have to be a Manchester United fan to enjoy this. You know, there's a lot of laughs in there, there's a lot of seriousness, you know, there's times where people that know us will get choked up from watching certain moments. Um, so it has so many different elements in there. With Beckham, Giggs, Scholes, Butt and the Neville brothers, United thrived. And with the club's re-emergence and the Manchester music scene taking off, the city was a special place to be in the early 90s. Lights of Oasis were exploding onto the world and had the Stone Roses and you know the real sort of Manchester vibe with the fashion, the music and that, the, the clubs and um, it was a great time to be sort of coming into the first team at that time. What happened quite quickly is that you had the Ryan Giggs duvet cover and the posters and it was almost like he was a kind of member of Take That and so that made him in a way and made Manchester United, it gave them kind of penetration into markets they wouldn't have had before. You know, younger people, girls, uh, you know, people who weren't really necessarily into that old style working class football culture. Such was their dominance. Every group of youth players since gets judged against the class of 92. If it's going to happen, it'll happen again at Manchester United. It won't happen at another club because there's no other club. I say there's no other club, that's probably the wrong thing to say. There's not many clubs that will give youth, uh, youth talent the opportunity. One of the group may be a little bit more Hollywood these days, but this is a film that truly couldn't be more Manchester. Enda Brady, Sky News.